And with that, I think that this uh, gives us a good segue into concluding this interview. So you've shared so much valuable insights today, right? And as a final thought, uh, what's one piece of advice you would give to product marketers who are navigating these dynamics, uh, whether it's working more closely with customer success teams or just simply adapting the ever evolving landscape of AI technologies? Absolutely. So this is probably a heavy slide uh, intended for it because this is who we are, right? Overall, when we think about product marketing, the work that we do across product industry and solutions, we are the voice of the market. We are the voice of the customer. And our job is to think about customer at its core, right? So all of these themes that you see here from product, sales, marketing, UX, design, engineering, professional services, customer support, customer success, account management, everybody is working towards helping our customers be successful and find more folks like them, right? At the end of the day, that's why we exist. That's why the company exists. That's why our products and solutions exist. But for us as product marketing, we can do our job well if we have that data-driven discipline, right? Working on our messaging positioning, launch, buyer persona, intelligence, uh, market presence, the analysts and media, all of this is to drive platform and solution adoption, it's to drive your industry growth. To do this, you're working with cross-functional teams, right? You'll see there isn't a team in here that you don't work with, whether it's product management, whether it's your demand gen, events, partners, content teams, analysts, media, enablement teams, engineering, um, your education, your training teams, biz ops, customer success, all of this is coming together because we are that, we are integral to the success of what we do. And so this allows you to kind of break down what each of those functions could be when it's coming to the five disciplines. But then it's also asking the question, okay, how do we want to be working together across product sales, marketing, and customer success, right? Um, these are some questions I asked when I started that journey to be like, okay, what are our growth strategies? If we want to drive customer lifetime value, that means we should be thinking about platform adoption. So here, your cross-sell, upsell comes into equation. Your solutions um, are part of it. If you want to maybe increase your average deal size, then think about which industries you want to be part of. Uh, if you want to drive maybe going into a new market, right? Maybe you are in the SMB mid-market. Now you want to get into the enterprise. What does that look like, right? New buyer personas, partner ecosystems, everything becomes part of it. And then depending on that, you can define your goals. Customer lifetime value, then it's, platform growth, maybe it's attach rate. You have two or more products and you want to connect those things together. Maybe it is thinking about different options across your average deal size, market share, or maybe looking at audience growth or even prioritizing your top three partners. These are all part of it. So how do you drive that and then plan your resources accordingly, plan your um, success metrics, right? We started the call today talking about product-led growth, this is part of that, right? Your PQLs versus MQLs and SQLs. How do you make sure you bring that in? How, bring the customer lifetime value into every conversation. Talk about, sorry, talk about adoption and retention. And this allows you to become more efficient. It allows you to think about velocity and volume, which at the end of the day is what we're trying to do um, collectively as a team. So hopefully that gives us a little bit lens into the big picture itself. Undoubtedly. 